All right, so this is the type bar we're going to be putting on. It's the N, and I just need to get it set in place here and open up that clevis. And get the right angle. It's hard to do sometimes. Until you get it. Okay, that's on. Now I will finish arranging these in the proper order. I'm trying to keep my finger out of the shot so you can see what I'm doing. But these all get loose once you take those uh, locking bars off. It just takes a little time to uh, put them all back. Okay. It's right here. Once you take these off, they do float about, which is nice because I cleaned out this plate, but it takes a little time to put every type bar back in its little notch. I just put them in loose and was able to jiggle these uh, type bars into place. And now I'm, now I'm tightening these screws down that the, now I know the adjustment is about right. Yep, we're doing good. I'll give it a little oil. Once I get it all back together, that should free everything up. The next thing we're going to install is the type bar rest. Give these things a little bit of a home. And that will be, if you can see it, it's that screw with that shoulder on it. We're just going to put that, if you can see it right there. I have to jiggle it around a little bit to get it in that shoulder. And you can see how much play this has. It'll really move around. See there. So don't get too worried if it moves around. It's supposed to do that. The next thing I want to put in, well actually, let's oil these while we have this out. off the excess again. We don't want too much in there. It just collects dust. Okay. Okay. That's better. The next thing is the ribbon tin. That'll go in. And you want to make sure Got these little rubber pads, make sure you keep a hold of those. Most of the time they stay attached to the tin. Sometimes they'll come off. And those go right where the right around where the screw hole is. Again, be careful not to scratch up that paint. I used a screwdriver that was a little too wide one time, and there's a nice shiny ring in the bottom of the tin for a while. Okay. Well, the next thing, after I shine, finish shining this up, I'm taking some uh, dirt and, and grime off of it, and we'll put this back. And if you just start them, and don't tighten them up. It's easier to put the screws in. And I'll put the very last screw in, which is the one that holds the type bar rest. This one at some point or another lost the, uh, this machine lost the little pencil holder and that went right there. Now to get this last piece in, 
I'm going to tip it upside down to get the angle right here. And that helps with that. And since this type bar rest floats around so much, it is difficult to get I got lucky, it went in pretty quick and easy. Okay. All right, well that finishes the job. We've replaced the tight bar and that's it for now.